My name is Julian Campbell. I'm talking today about the exhibition, the summer exhibition currently showing at the Hunt Museum in Limerick, A Wild Atlantic Way, Irish Life and Landscape, including a large number of painters featured in many of the counties of along the Atlantic seaboard. <music> County Donegal in the northwest of Ireland also attracted a number of artists in the 19th century, 20th century up to the present day. Amongst these was Nathaniel Hone, one of the great landscape painters of the 19th and early 20th centuries. He had earlier painted at Kilkee and along the coast of County Clare. He was fascinated by rock formations, stormy seas, and breaking waves, and he painted in a very vigorous free way. And this, this little painting of ra waves and rocks in Dundoran in County Donegal um, almost looks as if it's painted very quickly there and there in the open air, which perhaps it is. It's painted on a, a fragment of canvas which is mounted on board. But within this simple picture, Hone really captures the feeling of being by the sea in the open air. One of the most interesting and original 20th century artists in the west of Ireland is County, Do County Donegal artist James Dixon, in the fact that he was a native Tory Islander who didn't have a background in art. He witnessed a, a visiting artist, an English artist called Derek Hill, painting on the island and he, James Dixon, was intrigued and began to paint himself and he soon painted these most interesting, unusual, um, original paintings, this one of West End Village, Tory Island. Um, he doesn't take conventional perspective. You could say it's quite naive. Perhaps we could regard him as a naive artist, but that doesn't mean he's a bad artist. He has a natural sense of colour and form, and we have a wonderful feeling of this harbour and a village in his own vision of it. Um, with little scr scratch, scratches and inscription on it. One of the artists who visited and fell in love with County Donegal was Derek Hill, an English artist who was also a portraitist and a landscapist, but visited Ireland, befriended local people and discovered Tory Island, which is some miles off the northwest coast. This remarkable picture, tall picture of a Tory gully, shows a dramatic cliff or sea cave with an almost aerial perspective looking down. And he captures so well the dramatic coastline of the west of Ireland with its cliffs, islands, and sea caves and breaking waves. He rented a little hut on the island to paint there and this intrigued the local man James Dixon and James Dixon was inspired to paint himself and also other island artists began to paint as well and they developed a Tory Island school of painting which was very very individual.